Good evening, Dark Souls. And you innocents, too. We have crafted this creepy art show just for you. Whatever your age and whatever your care, exhale till you're pale. Now, hold on to thin hair. With glints of surreal that may move you to shiver, we celebrate spooky. We hope to deliver. Emerge from your hearse and make way for the pall. Come one, come all, to the skeleton crowd. My name's Anna and I am the director and the curator for The Skeleton Crawl. This show started back in 2019, just getting bigger and bigger every year with more artists involved. So we have 48 artists tonight, I think 53 works for you to see, amazing works from painting to illustration, ceramic, other sculptures and assemblage works with mixed media, we have video, we have poetry. Um, lots and lots to hear and see tonight. So I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see and you'd like to support us or be a part of the crawl community, please check us out. Um, Kickstarter, number one, we need money to help fund these projects every year. I just do this all out of my own pocket because I think it's a really cool concept. Um, but if you do too, then I would really appreciate your help. So Kickstarter, uh, you can find the link on our website at theskeletoncrawl.com slash donate. Head to the Kickstarter. We need about $5,700 in order to break even this year. Um, so I'd really, really love your help if possible. We have fun perks, um, including this amazing little green beanie, if you would like one. So um, anyway, I hope you really enjoy the show. Have a really spooky Halloween. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.
My mother is a ghost, but I have never seen her. She can move anything. That's her blowing out the light bulbs. Or is she in the floorboards, whining underneath my feet? My mother is a witch. She told me so in the old Mazda. I am strapped in back, wrapped. I'm thinking brooms and hats, moles and chins. My mother is beautiful. It is nonsense. She explains, that makes me a witch too. My mother is a scream. She's got us by the howling slack jaw, gut clutching well before the punchline. On my own, I am a shadow, and the gag is too. I cannot do it justice. My mother is a was, bald head, blue gown, a princess of bones and wigs, straight with a fringe and curly. I picked that one. She is beautiful. There is no explanation. My mother is a beast, wild and untethered. If you call her, she will not come. She knows nothing of her origin or yours. My mother is me, or I am what is left. A flightless specter, a paw, wit without finesse. Sometimes I cannot see my skin from my bones. Prophecy is a terrible illness of no cure. I sit on the train and want to slash open my belly, tear it all out. You can unburden me. I'll do the dishes. How pretty your teeth will be when they are red with my blood. I foresee my death in your palms. I taste new life beneath the furs. Every velvet rope looks like an umbilical cord, looks like a noose. Carve me up. Take the Eucharist. Drain my acre. Flay me. Disembowel me. Lay my skin over yours. My youth is your salvation. You will bear that which I cannot. Are you hungry yet? I know that look. Come here.
soul shall find itself alone mid dark thoughts of the gray tombstone not one of all the crowd to pry into thine hour of sin silent in that solitude which is not loneliness for them the spirits of the dead who stood in life before thee are again in death around thee and their world shall shadow thee be still be still the night though clear shall frown and the stars shall look not down a burning and a fever which would cling to thee forever now a thought thou shalt not banish now a vision's ne'er to vanish from thy spirit shall they pass no a symbol and a token, how it hangs upon the trees, a mystery. When given the choice between thunder or the tornado, confused when the map kept swapping escape plans, confused when she did not turn out to be the celebrity she impersonates, but would you say it's just toast to the face of a virgin rising from the crust? I chose the riskier path despite multiple warnings. I flicked closed my app. I drove right inside it. Still, the radio warned me of the possible flooding of small creeks. 
it said I would have to turn back, followed by an advertisement for goosebump cryotherapy. What I believe they mean by treating the symptom, because it was quicker to do so, they just freeze them off. In dreams, I return to the path that connects the backyard of my childhood home to the neighbor's driveway we used as a shortcut to school. This time they planted flowers right in the middle of the path, so I had to walk around. Lie down in the grass, get bit by the snake. This is probably a variation of a famous proverb and repetition becomes the thing with which to grope through a dark room. Why I keep buying the same sandwich I don't like, sign of my universal disappointment. Before it was a symbol, it was a pendant I wore around my neck. So hold her like an opal, cryptic in your longing the way she longs to be admired. Now every unsatisfying lump resembles her. In times of extreme grief or love, the stomach will eat the heart muscle. So if she offers you a cluster of grapes, you might not think to ask, have these been poisoned? The body is no sentimental thing. My friend, a librarian, was instructed to break the backs of any book that needed to be gotten inside of, to get it to lie flat for her so she could copy it. It is someone's job to put fake prescription labels on bottles for the movies in which an actor can't help but open the medicine cabinet in the bathroom of a mysterious acquaintance or a lover's house. What I believe they mean by Pandora's box. Still, a woman might experience a shock from over 200 years ago that jumped the bloodline that fragments me now why I take my soup alone onto the rooftop where it is dangerously breezy with the energy of a self-flagellating priest. I may not be capable of much, but my name alone has the power to shatter the foundations of a decades-old kinship. And this poem is also about mental illness apparently needed to be explained inside the dream where I'd been peeling back the lemon in increments for weeks, a stain spread from my eyelid, rubbing the spot on my belly above my underwear, the elastic pinches me where she fails to, fingering the dampened waistband, a bell rings, a child moans, Somewhere in the distance, someone orders another to smile. Letting my hair graze the tip of the apple, I too commit an image. Splash water, touch steeple, who knows what might wash up on love's shores. One dirty flower trampled on the pavement, the open, unblinking eye of it. Yes, it was good to be in her mouth, inside the dirty sheets of her book, where a moth went to die. I smashed it shut, I flung the whole thing out the open window of my car, into the chasm below, and there it stayed and grew in my mind, even more gorgeous, all waterlogged communing with the bones of dogs and men, each comma a clit becoming more engorged, returning her words to fluid, rendered wet by my quarry, which leaked into the stream the community drinks from and into the faucets and throats of every mother, woman, and child, every last babe, 
catch me sipping from their cupped heels, cracked lips in no time. Dear Kieran Short, thank you for submitting stories for review. Unfortunately, we don't feel it is right for a publication, but we did want you to know we are impressed by your work. Though we weren't able to publish your work this time, we sincerely hope you consider submitting to AMU again in the future. Keep in touch. Dear Kieran Short, thank you so much for letting us have a chance with your work. For your patience as you waited for our response. We are grateful to have spent time with your submission. Unfortunately, we won't be publishing anything from this submission. But we, we really, really enjoyed, enjoyed reading it and hope you will send new work in the future. We, we hope, hope you are safe and as well, well as can be. be. Thank you again for sharing your work with us. Warmly and gratefully. Dear Kieran, thank you for your submission. We hope you we enjoy reading, reading your poems very much. They unfortunately do not fit the shape of our upcoming issue. We, we hope, hope you continue, continue to read and to submit to the future. Thanks again, and best of luck in your endeavor. Dear Kieran Short, Thank you for your interest in giving us the opportunity to read your work. We have not chosen your submission for publication in one of our upcoming issues. We wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Sincerely, dear Kieran Short, thank you for sending us a ballot. We feel honored to have been considered. Unfortunately, we don't feel this particular work was the right fit for you. That being said, we are impressed with the quality of your submission and would be very happy to consider other poems from you in the future. If you submit to us again, please mention this invitation in your cover letter. Thank you again. Best of luck finding a home for your submission. Sincerely yours, the editorial. Dear Kieran, thank you for sending us the Kieran Short Poetry Submission, but unfortunately we've decided not to publish anything from the submission. We work hard to consider every poem fairly and carefully. And I read everything we receive without delegating that task to any interns or other readers. But we're whittling 100,000 a year down to the 150 that we publish, so the odds are always long. That doesn't mean we aren't grateful that you shared your work with us or that we don't find value in it. We're happy to read submissions anytime, year round. Regular submissions are always free, and we pay all contributors. So hopefully, we'll always be the top of your list for places to send new poems. Best wishes. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to consider your work. We regret that we weren't able to carry it in the magazine at this time. Sincerely, the editor. Dear Kieran, thank you for submitting to the and We appreciate your patience. Although we won't be carrying your work in the magazine, we are grateful for the opportunity to read and consider it. Sincerely, hi Kieran. After careful consideration, your submission is not chosen for publication. We hope your work finds a good home at another publication. We hope you're doing well during this uncertain time. Thanks again for submitting to the Stay safe. Best, the yeah, editor is Kieran Short. Thank, Thank you for you submitting your work to us on a podcast. But we're not accepting your submission for publication at this time. We very much appreciate the opportunity to read it. Sincerely, Dear Kieran. Thank you for your interest in Our editorial staff has carefully reviewed your material, but unfortunately, it is not quite right for our magazines. We appreciate this opportunity to see your work. We hope that you will be successful in placing it elsewhere. Sincerely, 